Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Sikandar and today we are going to fetch the data from Firebase in our Android tutorial series inside our profile section and after validating the username and password we will move our whole data or the data of that specific user to our login screen so let me quickly show you okay inside the username write Tamur and the password will be the one we have created you can see we have a strong password and the username cannot have spaces etc so click on this go button and this loader will still loading until our authentication authorizes we have a username at the top then we have a name then we have a username and full name email password and phone number okay let's go back to the sign up screen for the validation so when you click on this go button when the fields are empty you can see we uh, do not have a scroll bar our fields are empty and we have some errors and write some username and we have still the password error then write some password our values fetched from the database with no such user exist and also if there is a user with them we have just logged in click on this go button and we have wrong password so this is what we are going to create in this tutorial so and if you don't know how to design any of the screen you can get the videos link is in the description or you can go to my youtube channel uh, inside the sign up we have uh, email and phone number so in the next video we are going to validate first the email by sending email to the user's email and before directly signing in the user inside our or registering the user inside our application so after the email we will also go for the phone number verification we'll send sms to the user's mobile and uh, for this tutorial we are sticking to our login screen so let's quickly see how we can do that okay to get started open the login screen and as you know uh, we have created the validation forms, validation username and password and all other fields inside the sign up in our last video. So for this video, we are uh, going to continue it. So inside this login user, we are validating username and password. First of all, open the username. Inside this username, as we were validating for the sign up, we do not need username too long and white spaces are not allowed inside our login screen. So these are for the sign up, make sure that user do not enter the wrong values. So when the user already entered the values, so we just want to make sure that the field is not empty. And once the error is gone, our username should set the null. Okay, once the error is gone, we want to remove that error. So we pass null inside the set error. And after the error is gone, we want to remove that extra error space as well because this is a material design. So we will set error enabled false. So it will also shrink back our design to its original position and we also do not need this. Okay, open the password field and remove this line and also we do not want to say your password is too weak but instead we want to check if this user has the same password he entered so for that we are going to first validate the username and password if they are empty or not okay once we have validated our username and password what we want to do is to we will simply write else and inside we will create another function which will simply check is user what this is user will do is to fetch the data from the firebase of that specific user and check that if there is some users related to this username entered by the current user and also matches its password from the firebase so create method is user in login screen and inside this is user we first need to get the user entered values inside string Control D to duplicate and user entered password change it to password here so we have user entered values username and password so to 
start working on the firebase we first need to create firebase reference so call the database reference which will be the reference is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and inside this reference I am going to pass users as you can see inside our firebase we have the first instance then we pass the user as the reference which is called users you can see we have the reference which is users and the instance you can see we have the instance go to the firebase database and go inside the instance and which is the parent node and inside we have a reference with the name users so now our reference is pointing to the users uh, we want to add the query which is the first one with firebase.database query check user is equal to reference means which is pointing to our users all users dot order by child and we want to order by child means search for the keyword username dot equal to the username entered by the user so what this query will perform is and inside look for the username for all the users and match it username entered by this user so if we have this username we can check it check user dot adds listener for single value event you can also add these uh, below two functions as well but for this tutorial i am using add listener for single value event and in here value event listener so you can see by default we have two methods on data change and on data cancels so in the on cancelled we have the error methods we are not working on this currently uh, but we want to get this data inside our on data change method our data is inside this data snapshot we first need to check if there is some data inside this data snapshot dot exists and if there is data inside this data snapshot we want to get that data inside the string password from database is equal to go to the data snapshot dot child and this child is basically the username which has the same username entered by the user inside our database there is a username entered by the user so we will simply get user entered username so go to this username dot child and get the value of that username which is password dot get value and as we are storing in the string so convert it into string dot class if there is a username matches to this username entered by the user inside our login screen edit text field so if there is a user that means we have some value inside our data snapshot and if the data snapshot exists we will fetch that password of the specific user having this username okay once we have this password what we will do is we will simply check if password from database dot equals to the password entered by the user user entered password if they are equal this means that user entered the right username and the right password so what we want to do is to log in to our user profile and share all this data to our user profile so once this is authenticated that our user entered right username and password we first want to get all the fields from the firebase change it to name make sure they are matching exactly like we have written inside here so we have a name email password phone number and username so only n is capital for the phone number press ctrl d to duplicate phone number so by this way we fetch all the values inside our these variables we already get this password so we have five values so to pass it or to call the next activity write intent is equal to new intent 
and move from this application to user profile application dot class or to calling this next activity we will first add intent dot inside this put extra you can see we first have to define the name of that value and then the value itself so the first one will be name and that name will be name from database so by this way we can add as many values we want control d to duplicate the line and change the value Okay, once we initialized or put all the data inside our intent, then we will simply start our activity and pass the intent in it. Okay, if this is not the case, so if the password went wrong, we will move to the else section and call our password field password dot set error and that error will be wrong password and what if our data snapshot does not contain any data that means there is no user there is no such user entered by the username inside our edit text so if there is no data inside the snapshot what we want to do is to write username dot set error and this time the error will be no such user exist and we also want to add password dot request focus so this re request focus will automatically request the focus and start pointing on that specific field and also in here before calling the next activity if the user second time entered the right value means if there is some data inside the snapshot means the username exists so we also want to remove that error from there so username dot set error and inside this pass null to remove that error and also to remove that error line or the error space left inside our design right username dot set error enabled false so this is for the username also if the password went true we want to set this as well and call our next activity okay for now our code is pretty much ready so let's run and see what we got before running uh, i have an error here which is it should be username because we want to validate this username okay let's run the application uh, we have a error uh, before running the application we need to pass a username not the password sorry for that because we want to check this username should be equal to the username entered by the user uh, i haven't seen this sorry for that so let's run the application i hope so there is no mistake okay inside this login screen first of all click go and you can see our error fields are appearing field cannot be empty let's write something in it and also for the password those errors are gone and you can see no such user exist after the validation from the firebase so let me check the values from the firebase we have a user called abcd let go and wrong password that means we, our username is working and the password is j i h and 16 go and yes our username and password is working okay now inside this profile screen what we want to do is we want to show all the data of that specific user in here so let's quickly do that as we just passed the data inside our intent and now we want to receive the data inside our profile which is this user profile so first of all we need to create the hooks and our user design first of all we need to create these hooks as we already assigned their ids so let me quickly create these hooks and okay we have created all the hooks and in here we will create a function show all data and that function name will also be show all user data 
you simply click on this bulb to create the method so inside this show all data we will simply get the data from the intent get intent press alt enter to import its libraries and inside this intent right we need string values string user underscore username is equal to intent dot get string extra in here we need to pass the name of the string we sent from the login screen which is name username email phone number and password username control d to duplicate five times username to name then we have email phone number and password if you don't know how to send multiple data you can check the video link is in the description okay we have all this data and to set the data on the text fields we will simply write full name full name label dot set text and in here we will simply pass this user underscore name by this way we can set the data simply duplicate and set the data on all the six places Okay, we also assigned that data on the text field so let's run it okay we successfully get all these values and place them inside our profile uh, you can check that inside the firebase we have the user with the ABCD username and then it has a phone number 564 then the password the name full name is inside our edit text fields and also on the top profile and then we have a username ABCD just beneath the full name so let me create a demo go to the sign up and first of all delete all these values from the firebase okay as you can see our database is completely empty so let me quickly add first username 5 and let's username is too long we have a 15 characters condition so let's add it and in here you can see we have a users and inside username is Tamur and we have a detail okay let's go back to our user screen and inside this user screen we have a username which is Tamur and the password is 12345 and click on this go button and you can see we have all these values uh, we fetched from the firebase we have full name then a username then we have all these text fields so in the next coming videos we will be validating or we will update our data inside our firebase when the user clicks here and manage their data so that's it for this tutorial if you learned something new please like the video and if you are new to the channel subscribe and more such videos will be on your way thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz